I feel like really formal. Like I need to address the nation with this hairstyle. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Alyssa Marie. Special welcome to you. Your girl is not normally this dressed up, but today I wanted to put something on a little nice for you guys because I'm gonna be sharing with you three curly girl holiday hairstyles that are super easy but super, super cute. So basically, what I'm saying is you don't need to put the heat in your curls, okay? Don't need to straighten your curls this holiday season. We're gonna get out of this with zero heat damage and I'm gonna show you how. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm starting off with hair that I achieved from a twist out. So I did a twist out maybe two nights ago. And the reason why I wanted to do this video on a twist out is because I genuinely feel like it's going to be a thousand times easier to style curly hairstyles on a twist out. I think it's basically because twist outs really compress the hair, make it smaller and just I don't know, it's just something about it that's just gonna make it a lot easier to deal with. So I definitely do suggest, especially if you have like super curly, like thicker, bigger hair like mine, definitely maybe start out with doing a little twist first and then we can get into our holiday hairstyles. That just, it just basically means you need to plan ahead maybe by like a day or two. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this. I am gonna show you three styles. The first one is gonna be a really cute like half up, half down situation. So something that I noticed that has been trending lately are definitely like these nice soft beautiful curls like in the front of your face so what I'm gonna do is start by kind of picking out some that I would like to kind of stay in the front of my face do y'all see how much my bangs have grown out like it's wild all right so I think I'm good with these little curly things in the front here super cute super wispy it looks a little bit effortless so then next I'm gonna start on this side and kind of gather some hair that I would like to kind of pull back. So you can kind of just look at it here and decide like, okay, how much hair you want back. And then once you have that on one side, you go ahead and do the same to the next side. Another good thing about styling on a twist out is that your curl definition is gonna be lit and it's gonna look really cute. Okay, so here we are so far. This is already, boom, a style. How cute is this? I do wanna go ahead and kind of leave my natural middle part here. It's not perfect, but honestly, I feel like the effortless, like imperfect curly hairstyles are the ones that look the best. So I'm not going for super slick. I'm not going for super perfect. I'm just going for super cute and effortless. So I'm just gonna go ahead and secure it with this hair tie. It's a regular old hair tie, specifically one without the metal piece. You know that metal piece that kind of holds the clips together. I don't get those anytime, ever. So I'm actually just going to secure this pretty loosely. I don't need it to be like super tight or anything. All right, and then boom, this is kind of how we're looking. So next, I'm just gonna go ahead and fluff and kind of shape my hair kind of the way I want it to be. Again, going for that wispy, beautiful, like just fluffy, effortless, curly kind of look, you know, just letting the curls do what they do best. <laughs> and then we can situate our little friends in the front here. I think I might even bring some kind of down at the side here. And boom, here we go. This is hairstyle number one. Super cute and again, super easy. I didn't have to fight my hair to slick it down. I really think what made this hairstyle cute are these little our little friends in the front here. I really, really love that. And again, it's like a trending style. So you literally can't, you can't go wrong with it. And let me give you guys a little bit close up. You can see here that it is messy. It is kind of just loosely pulled back, but it still looks beautiful. Like, oh, I didn't try, but yes, I look this cute, you know? <laughs> so definitely recommend this. Honestly, I feel like a little wedding guest, okay? This makes a really cute wedding guest look i feel like it's a little bit more flirty and it's a little bit more approachable more fun you know kind of cute all right time for the second style so let's be real we're not gonna have multiple events to go to this year but i still wanted to give you guys a couple of options so for the next style i am still gonna leave our cute trendy friends here in the front instead now i'm gonna grab my entire head of hair and push it back but instead of like a regular, regular old like poof, I am going to push it to the side. Hmm, looks like this curl wants to join the party, so we'll let her. So then now I'm just taking a hair tie and securing it to the side. Boom. Okay, this is super, super cute. I love the one side pony because first of all, 
photos on this side gonna be really cute. You know what, actually? I think this might even look a little bit cuter as a little bun. Ooh, yes. Okay, let's put her in a bun. So just grabbing another hair tie here. And I'm literally just gonna like go ahead and loop it. Just like how we do our messy buns on top, but now this is like a sideways messy bun. And I'm just gonna turn it so that hair that's like kind of flipped over can be towards the back. Boom! Oh, I turned it into like super classy in like two seconds. I honestly feel like a bridesmaid with this one. I feel like this is a bridesmaid hairstyle. Oh my gosh, but super, super classy. Look, I look put together. I feel like I need to sit up a little bit more straight with this hairstyle because, huh? Yes, this is it. This is it. The bun for the win. I actually really prefer it with the bun over like the poof out thing inside. I mean, both are beautiful, but the bun is just giving me an extra classy vibe that I absolutely love. I would love to see this with, again, some statement earrings. I just think the ears are out there balling out and it's just, whoo, it would just like complete the look. Actually, you know what, let me show you. Mm, yes, that is what I'm talking about. I had to take off the necklace because it was gonna clash too much. But do you see how the earrings are like on show? Like, I am a classy lady, all right? This is like a little bit less approachable. This is like, yo, you better come correct. I'm gonna say right now, this is definitely not the last time you're about to see me with this hairstyle, because this is cute. Oh, by the way, all the jewelry that I am featuring in this video is by my mom's business. She is obsessed with jewelry. I am obsessed with jewelry. We are obsessed with jewelry together. And she owns a boutique in the Cayman Islands called The Finishing Touch. I will link her stuff below. We don't have e-commerce set up just yet, but eventually we will. As for now, if you see any pieces that you would absolutely love to have, you can send her a DM on Instagram and she will literally ship it right to ya. So yeah, if you guys are wondering, those are the jewelry deeds and majority of like my big, most beautiful jewelry pieces come directly from the finishing touch. I really don't wanna take this hairstyle out, but we gotta go on to hairstyle number three. All right, so I'm just gonna take this out. So for my third style, again, we're gonna leave our friends out in the front because they're just so cute, aren't they? I just, I don't wanna get rid of them. So I'm basically just gonna go ahead and gather all my hair to the top. This is for the girls who love the high updo. Yes, I need. So just grabbing all the hair, pulling it up as high as I can. Again, this should be a lot easier to do this with twist out hair than wash and go hair, which usually has a lot more volume. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and secure this with a hair tie. All right, so we're secured, but as you can see, pineapples do tend to look a little crazy with twist out hair just because your hair is, again, compressed and also a little bit more stretched. It's just not, it's just, it's not a vibe. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lightly kind of tuck under my hair and make like a really loose but large, big, poofy, curly bun. Like something like this and just continue shaping tucking it under, shaping it until you get a look that you kind of really like. Like this is kind of coming together and then in order to secure it, we just go in with like probably a thousand bobby pins. But I mean already, you can kind of tell how cute this is, right? I actually really love to use these extra long, extra large roller set pins. That's what these are, but I like to use them as bobby pins for curly hair because Listen, our hair is wild and it just holds a lot more in place. So now that I have achieved kind of a shape that I like, I'm just gonna go ahead and secure the bun with these bobby pins. You're gonna wanna make sure that you secure every angle of this bun, especially if you are gonna be taking this out to like a wedding, a special event where you're gonna be dancing and all that stuff. Like you're gonna wanna make sure that you are really securing the bun. You also don't have to worry about it being too super perfect because like you can see I have these curls here that are kind of sticking up but I kind of like the vibe. It's like a, a formal messy bun. I guess that's what we could call this. A formal messy curly bun and it's it's giving me all the vibes. I think we definitely went in order of like more casual to a little bit more formal because this is like top knot big beautiful formal bun. Honestly, it's so super comfortable to wear as well. The fact that it's not like, you know, super tied up with hair ties. It's not super tight at all. It's just kind of pinned under with some bobby pins and that's it. So I honestly feel really comfortable in this as well. So yeah guys, that is it for this video. Super, super easy, quick, 
fun but beautiful trendy everything i have so many adjectives to describe these hairstyles i hope i have convinced you that you really don't need to put heat in your curls or straighten your curls this holiday season you can literally rock these for christmas and look really cute and if you decide to recreate these hairstyles don't forget to tag me okay tag me on instagram when you post your cute pics so that i can see your poppin curls that are not heat damaged, okay? If you are new here and you made it all the way to the end, you are the real MVP. Just make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you head out so that you never miss a new upload ever again. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.